The plasma membrane of a cell has both TLR1 and TLR2. Both TLR1 and TLR2 have one TIR domain each. A bacterial triacyl lipopeptide binds to the TLR1 and TLR2. This binding forms a dimer of TLR1, TLR2. Triacyl lipopeptide is a PAMP. The cytosolic adapter protein MYD88 then associates with TIR domains of TLR1 and TLR2. After this association, MYD88 adapter protein recruits IRAK4 and IRAK1. In the next step, IRAK1 phosphorylates itself. TRAF6 then binds to the phosphorylated IRAK1. TRAF6 then activates the phosphorylated TRAK1. TRAF6 creates a scaffold. The scaffold acts as an organizing center for subsequent signaling components. The adapter proteins TAB1 and TAB2 then bring associated TAK1 into proximity with IRAK1. In the next step, IRAK1 phosphorylates and activates TAK1. In the next step, the IKK complex consisting of NEMO, IKK alpha, IKK beta is recruited. As a result of this recruitment, TAK1 phosphorylates and activates IKK beta. In the next step, a complex is formed in which the inactive NF kappa B is bound to I kappa B. The I kappa B retains NF kappa B in its inactive form. Activated IKK phosphorylates I kappa B. The phosphorylated I kappa B then undergoes degradation. Due to this degradation, inactive NF kappa B becomes active. After separating from IKK complex, TAK1 activates MAP kinase pathways. This activation of MAP kinase pathways result in the activation of transcription factors like FOS and JUN. JUN forms the active AP1 dimer. The active NF kappa B and active AP1 then move towards the nucleus. The active NF kappa B and active AP1 then move into the nucleus. In the nucleus, active NF kappa B and active AP1 binds to specific regions of DNA. The active NF kappa B and active AP1 then causes transcription of genes encoding cytokines, chemokines, and antimicrobials. Please like, subscribe, and share.